As the fake fertilizer saga ran deep, the National Assembly Committee on Agriculture today grilled the director of SBL Innovate Manufacturers and 51 Capital Kenya, that is Josiah Kariuki, before kicking him out of the committee for what legislators termed as arrogant and dishonest conduct. NTV's Brian Mushiri, who was present at the committee, files the following report. Josiah Karioki, a director at the SBL Innovate and 51 Capital Companies that have been named in the fake fertilizer saga, made his way to Parliament to prove his innocence. This, after the government's denial of there being any fake fertilizer in the country. Karioki was accompanied by an entire bar of advocates to the meeting, seven of them to be precise. They were led by Dancer Nomari and Cliff Ombetta. He could be seen consulting them from time to time. It, however, did not take long before tempers in the room flared. The first bone of contention was how karaoke started the supply business in the first place. According to the John Motunga-led committee, karaoke started working with just an agreement and no contract. Further, it emerged that some contracts by karaoke did not actually bear his signature. Some contracts and some agreements were by word of mouth. He submitted. It's for them to ask them. Between you and me, yeah. which report do we rely on? The signed one or the unsigned one? I think we should ask Capes for them to come and tell us what to rely on. It's not me. I haven't done physics, I haven't done chemistry, so it's for them to come and tell us. Okay. I want to put it to you before before everyone here that sure. Seneca is your product, is sure. your imagination that you're trying to sell to Kenyans, which is not there. And it is not a product that you can use for fertilizer whatsoever. It's a rock product. Quartz. That's what the silica is. I hear you telling us. I think Chiang, we have farmers here. You don't have to be a business. No, no, no. Chiang gonna differ from me. We have farmers here. We have been using the product. In a unique fashion of answering questions, Karaoke would occasionally ask the committee chair to direct some questions to the Kenya Bureau of Standards, KEBS, and the National Cereals and Produce Board, NCPB. They were not present in the room. The manner in which karaoke answered questions in the committee left some legislators wondering if indeed he was the actual director of the company. The legislators feeling dissatisfied resulted to kicking karaoke out of the meeting. I think um, uh, Mr. Karaoke would like to release you. Uh, Thank you, Chair. And if we need anything from you, sure, sure. Uh, we will have to request you to tell us whether to ask you or caps so that we may be able to get to where we would like to go. It's up to them. Uh, yeah. Yes, but it's unfortunate that really you have done this to Kenyans. Thank you very much. Thank you. At the same time, the Senate Committee on Agriculture has also called for the immediate arrest of the perpetrators of the fake fertilizer scandal and compensation of the affected farmers. <laughs> We want to call Attorney General to ensure those companies who have been supplying fertilizer, which is fake, must be registered with immediate effect. Brian Mushiri, NTV, Nairobi.